Let me know when you're ready. I don't, I'm not looking chubby, am I? You look great. Thank you, thank you. Let me, know, let me know when you're rolling. We're rolling. Already? Yep. All right, welcome to South Omaha Speed. We appreciate you joining. Uh, you see behind me, we've got the fire truck here, my buddy Steve Rhodes. Uh, we put this on a couple of shorts on our channel and we had a lot of buzz about this truck and actually a lot of emails. People write me, what kind of, what kind of uh, wheels are those? Uh, you know, what frame did he use? Where do you get that box? Stuff like that. How to make it look like that. So we figured we might as well get Steve and uh, tell you all about it. And we're excited to share it with you. So let's get him positioned over by the truck and get started. We got him here, the man, the myth, the legend, Steve Rhodes from Rhodes Restoration. And behind, he's got the fire truck. And Steve, thanks for coming along the channel. You bet. We appreciate that. Um, now, I drive this same truck. I drive an 03 Duramax not, 2, but it doesn't look like this. So, so tell us a little bit about, you know, you found the truck. It was, it was, also, it was a stalker, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it had a, the water tank was already gone on it when I got it. The guy was going to put a grain truck, grain bed on it. And, okay. But uh, I ended up buying it and ended up with an 03. So I just kind of put them together. It was so, an 03 Duramax. Oh, Duramax. Extended cab. Extended cab, four wheel drive, extended cab, long box. Not a dually though. Not a dually. So my same truck yeah. that I drive, yeah. but mine's a dually. Yeah. So, okay, so same thing. And you made it, you made this with the fire truck cab, amazing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, did, you, did you paint the truck or is that original? That's all original paint. I just uh, sanded it and cleared it. Okay, what kind of clear did you use? Um, See, so you put me on the spot and I don't remember what I Oh, it's fine. Stuff. It's fine. It doesn't matter what kind of clear. You cleared it, but it looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So the hooks are the same. So you, how'd you get that bumper? Is it all wrapped in with brackets and stuff to make that Actually work? Actually cut the front frame rails off of the old chassis. Because it would have stuck probably farther out? Yeah. So I see. So that's the old. That's the old original cross member front the old, half of Right, the... gotcha. To get that look and the bumper hung on there. That's great. Very cool. So to get these wheels to fit, they probably make adapters, I would assume? There are eight to 10 lug adapters. Okay. And basically just bolts on, so. Gotcha. And there are 22 fives cut down to 22s. So you can run the more street tire on it. Okay. It's a basically a semi wheel. Gotcha. So, so you, we had you on a couple shorts with this thing. We went cruising one night, and right. put some shorts up, but we seen you in Des Moines too. So you drove it down the highway, it's 80 miles an hour. Yeah, Nathan actually uh, hauled my 70 Camaro to good guys with it. Right, pull yeah. a trailer, no pull problem. Trailer. And the yeah. AC works. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and we might turn them on here too for the videos, but every light on this thing works. I mean, we're talking the spots, the the cab, what are these called? Put the driving lights. Driving really. lights, thank you, thank you. All the lights work. I mean, if I if I built this thing, I'd be lucky if I got one light to work on it, but he's got them all working, so. It, it's it, all the wiring out of the O3. Gotcha. All of it. All the tele electronics for the yep. engine and everything. You mind if we pop the hood? Yeah. Pop the hood, pop the hood it's from uh, Fast and Furious. It's nothing that pretty, but it's all just standard O3. What you got looking clean in here? So you use the firewall off the fire truck. I used right? the whole cab. The whole cab. So you did, okay. So you just I basically just, undid the wiring. Yep. The big loom, because it's probably a big loom. I pulled right? it out of the fire, out of the, out through the firewall. I unplugged everything inside and I laid it all out and I just basically eliminated what I didn't need. Okay. So I didn't really add nothing or chop anything up. It just uh, basically just moving it around. You didn't, you didn't, just didn't plug it back in if you didn't need yeah. it, basically. Yeah. Gotcha. Very nice. I used a template template off the O3 for the firewall to, to mount everything. So everything's mounted in the same basic location. The hydro boost yep. everything's off the O3. Yeah. Gotcha. So you just drilled the holes. Everything's the same thing. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. And I see you got the AC working. So um, we can look at that too when we get in there. But so the, it's the outside. Everything outside is O three Duramax, yeah. but inside you used a vintage air style. Yeah, just an under dash hanging unit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is that a used one you had or did you? Uh... Yeah, it's one I had from a different project gotcha. that was left over. Gotcha. Very cool. But the hardest part was mounting to get everything to fit. I had to make the lower radiator support because I have plenty of room in the back, but I didn't have much room up here just because of the way it sits in the chassis. Right. So I had to center the wheels and then I had to make everything else fit. Gotcha, because the wheels had lined up in the wheel wells. Yeah. You had to start there. Yeah. And then you had to make everything else work. Because I didn't want to move, I didn't want to have to move the engine back or mounts and all right. that stuff, short yeah, drive shaft. Wanna, it's yeah. just a can of worms. Right. So, so it was got a every, 
gotcha. little bit of a feat to get every, it's all packaged. the intercooler and everything to yeah. fit in here. But. Well, it looks like basically this one bracket here too, right? Was really, right. this is all, yeah. and then this here is custom made. I had to modify this a little bit to, run, okay. to make some clearance for the intercooler. Well, you can't even tell. It looks real nice. Right. And so uh, as far as the interior goes, it's pretty much all, it's, it's the original seat out of the truck. Okay, and yeah. what year is it again? It's a- 66. 66, gotcha. Has the O3 column in it and the cluster. So it all just, it just plugs right in. I didn't have to do oh, I see. any yeah, real nice. wiring. Okay, yeah, very cool. You just made those filler pieces for the dash piece and just plugged it all back in. Yeah. Well, oh, that's great. Very nice. The hardest part was getting all the electronics to fit under this dash and okay. in here. Right. They're so small under there. Right, right. Boy, good job on those air conditioner lines. I don't know if I could even, even attempt to try to make something like that work. So that's impressive in itself to get, you know, that's yeah, way beyond Yeah, I used my, the original compressor off the engine. Right. And then I just bought a Speedway line kit. Oh, and gotcha. I didn't even know that existed. So, yeah. yeah. Look what I'm learning today. A lot. Every time I'm around you, I learn something. Yeah. So I see here that it does have the, the factory fuel fill would have been right here, right on the cab. The factory yeah. cap, but you got it here. Yeah, the okay. fire truck actually had its own auxiliary tank that never had a tank behind, behind the, the seat. seat. Okay, gotcha. So you got extra room back there too, then yeah. to put that seat back. Yeah, because you're a tall guy. That's probably helped a bunch. I see you got the the electronic pedal too, right? The Duramax pedal because that's all fly yeah, by wire. Yeah, all the pedals and the and the mounting bolt to the the firewall bolt the through place. the firewall because it bolts to the hydro boost. It's all a what? big bracket, so oh. it bolts sandwiches between okay. there. Very nice. And I see, so it didn't have, it had a water tank, but I, I see a patinaed bed here that matches. So how did you pull that off? Um, did you buy a used? No, I've had the, this truck's, or this box has been around for a long time. It, it, you've owned it? Yeah. Waiting for a project? No, just, it was on another truck. I have a 65, that was my dad's truck. Okay. And it, I actually had to widen it 18 inches just so it's covered the wheels a right, little so bit So it looks further. like it, right, right. It's got a good look to it. Right following you here man it's it is sinister from behind yeah. it looks so good so and you just yeah you just diamond plate the center section right yeah so this is the That's factory right. this the is factory a bumper width. this is a bumper a friend of mine gave me oh okay nice was it red already did you match the no red? it wasn't red it was it was kind of so you matched the right. patina of the truck yeah you're an artist because that's I amazing just, that looks so good and Very i like State Farm sticker on there I, I noticed you masked around that's <laughs> super cool well that's great you got one of your dad's pieces on there too that's awesome I still have that truck, so. Okay, is that one coming up? I don't know, I'm gonna do something with it. Okay, so what's so. the story with your guy in the back here? What do we got going on with this guy? Oh, uh, it's just something that I seen on Instagram and I figured I could make one of those. Sure, and you did a good job. That's super cool. An art, you're an artist and a car guy, all the same. Yeah. You mean? I am, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not much of an artist, I'm much, you know what I mean? I'm kind of somewhere <laughs> in the middle. You got, you got everything covered, so that's great. So tell us about your tanks here. Are they double the storage as well? Yeah. They're actually reefer tanks off of a uh, refrigerated truck. Oh, I see. So you just made storage just out of them. I just cut them, them open. Yep. And... Very nice. Made the shelf. Yeah. Very cool. You must, there's a, good guys, is there a cooler in the other one? There's a cooler in the other okay, side. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So you're ready to go. So Kelowna? Kelowna. Iowa. Yeah. And that's? south of Iowa City. Okay, so you seen the truck. It was close to you though, wasn't it? Uh, actually, I was at Underwood Feed and Grain at a little car show, okay. and it was sitting over in the weeds, and I just asked about it, and he was willing to sell it. So originally a doctor bought it, from what I understand, and used it in parades, and then uh, this guy bought it, was gonna make it look like his dad's truck. Gotcha. So. Was it the Feed and Grain guy that owned it? Yeah. Gotcha. So it, was yeah. just, it wasn't there on display. It was just No, it wasn't on display. It was sitting back in the back corner in the weeds. Gotcha. Understood. Yeah, it's cool. So when it says 60 here, is that, so that means that's the tonnage. It's a C60. That's tonnage, yeah. right? How big it was. So yeah. it had the big brakes on it, the big drums. Oh, it's the huge. Huge, yeah. like big, yeah. those big metal, like almost like um, the movie Cars with uh, Tomator. Had those big, big yeah. brakes. Sorry, you know, the yeah. cartoon. It's the same, same body style? No. No. It's the one before no. this. Yeah. Sorry, we're getting off on the cars talk there, the cartoon. But uh, anyway, sorry about that. Um, edit that out, Johnny. You're good. Um, anyway, so it's a 60, so it's a big dog. Yeah. 
Gotcha. Very cool. See, so you made the steps, so they integrated in there real nice. So do you have a sheet? I was brake? trying to find. I was trying to find some original steps, but I couldn't find any, and so I just I made these. Right. Well, the diamond plate it ties in with the rest of it nicely. Yeah. So yeah, especially with the bright wheels. Fire truck. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Fire truck. Yeah. Utilitarian, and the way you widen the box too. So we've seen you guys over at Good Guys, and you must have had I don't know, twenty people in the back. Uh, some. Yeah. Probably yeah. I mean, it was crazy. Like so you had the flags going, and you you had some mats down, so stuff wouldn't skid around. Yeah. And the woods kind of got a red tint to it too, doesn't it? Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So did you did you make all this too? I assume. Uh, there's a guy about a mile from me that has a mill, and he actually cut all this wood for me. Okay. All this red cedar. Nice. So it's just fresh off the mill. Right, you drilled it, bolted it? Yeah. Handy man. Your wife probably has you busy oh. with a lot of projects, I'm guessing, because you can do multiple things. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. I mean, I can, I'm in trouble. I can take the <laughs> trash down to the curb, and you know what I mean? I shine like a new penny on some things, but not a lot. So, very, it's, yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time and, and coming to see us, and uh, it's appreciated because it's an awesome truck. So, thank you. Um, it's a joy to watch it roll down the road. That, that view a, from behind. It's a blast sinister. to drive. It's, yeah. The, my wife and I will be driving around and people wave at me and she goes, who's that? I, said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't sure. know. Right. Somebody who's happy yeah. to see the truck. Very cool. Well, thank you. Appreciate you. Um, thanks so much for joining. Steve, thanks for coming out and spending the time. Uh, we know you're busy and it's, you know, for getting away and because you're probably home working on something else cool today, yeah. the next project. Yeah. So um, uh, you got a couple more of these trucks you said you're going to build too, right? Yes. And what's the next one? It's a 61. C60. Okay. Yeah. The body style before this? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. And what are you gonna, what's the plans for that one? Well, I have a 65 Suburban, and I'm going to try to make, my plans are to make a four-door Suburban. Okay. Out of it. So, so two, two to one. Put the two together. On another Duramax chassis. Right. Cool. Well, we're looking forward to checking that out. Uh, thank you so much for joining. We appreciate you. Uh, please like and subscribe. Do we have a bell, Johnny? Ding, ding, bell. Yeah, hit that too, please. Anything you can do to help us out there would be appreciated. Uh, tell your neighbors and friends. We'll catch you next time on South Ohio Speed.